Welcome back, Cure Arthritis Nation. May is Arthritis Awareness Month, and we need your help. Make sure to share this video and your photos with the hashtag CureArthritis for your chance to win a Cure Arthritis Action Pack. This month, we're going to be interviewing Dr. Domini Jawahir of Oakland's Children's Hospital, who's studying the effects of pregnancy on rheumatoid arthritis. Now sit back and relax as we jump right in. Hi, Dr. Jawa here. Thank you very much for being our guest on Arthritis Now today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. And you're actually our first uh, female guest, so we're very excited to have you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so when you were funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation, it was, in, it was from 2006 to 2007? Yes, I actually was funded twice. Uh, first time in 2006, like you said, and also in 2012. And, and what did receiving those grants mean to you? Well, the, that, the grant I received from ANRF turned out to be the very first grant I ever received, and that's uh, what helped me launch my research career, and so it's a really huge deal. What you're working on now is very interesting to me personally, so if you could describe in, layman ter in layman's terms um, what your current project is and um, what you hope to achieve with it, that would be great. All right, so we are examining the effect of pregnancy on rheumatoid arthritis. As you know, um, a large proportion of women who have RA experience a dramatic improvement in their symptoms uh, during pregnancy, and then the symptoms come back after childbirth. Why exactly that happens is still unknown. So that is what we are trying to find out in our research project. Um, the reason it's important is that uh, there's up to about 30% of RA patients who do not respond to medications, even though there's some pretty good medications that work very well in controlling the disease. So we hope that if we can understand why the disease goes away naturally and then what makes it come back, maybe we can use that as a model um, to design better medications that have fewer side effects. And that's what we hope to achieve. So what we do in this uh, project is we invite women who have RA, who are planning a pregnancy, to participate in the research. And we examine their joints um, before, during, and after pregnancy. And also take blood samples at the same time when we examine them. So what we do with the clinical data that we collect is we figure out um, what their disease activity was at each time point when we saw them mm -hmm. and we used the blood samples that were taken at exactly the same time to try and figure out um, to what extent each of our genes are switched on or off in these women as the disease activity is changing over time. Right. And then we use um, the latest uh, technology to do these experiments and use uh, bioinformatics and statistical methods to be able to figure out um, to basically try to identify which gene product uh, is maybe correlated with um, the disease activity as it goes up and down. That's great. Um, and are you, so you said you're working with actual like, pre like pregnant patients. Um, do you see a lot of interest in, in, from them coming to your lab or is it kind of hard to find those, those people to test? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> when I um, was, first had the idea to do this, and um, I was trying to find where am I going to find these women with RA, um, I was told that in the US it was going to be extremely difficult because any one rheumatologist probably sees at most one patient like that in a year. Wow. So then I was thinking, so where am I going to find all these patients? And um, I was uh, fortunate enough to be working with collaborators in Denmark already, and I knew that they have you know, a very good system, organized system of registries. So um, I was introduced to uh, a collaborator there, Dr. Hanna Kiergor, who um, basically set up an uh, entire recruitment team and the entire process, and we've had successful uh, recruitment uh, in Denmark, and all the credit for that goes to, to Dr. Kiergor. But unfortunately, um, I just want to say that she got very sick and passed away at the end of last year, but she's left us with mm -hmm. all these wonderful patients and recruitment team who still are very hard at work. 
That's great. That's good. Her legacy is like being kept alive. So that's yeah. that's, that's great. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org to see how you can take action to help cure arthritis. We'll see you next time.